Thirty-six years ago, as a younger man and a member of the United States Military Academy at West Point, I swore to support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. More than a decade later, I graduated from medical school and I took a second oath, a Hippocratic oath that includes a pledge to first do no harm. I rise today to honor my sacred oath and oppose the pharmaceutical industry and declare them a domestic enemy of the people. The pharmaceutical industry has repeatedly been found guilty and charged with high crimes and misdemeanors. They have used their power and wealth to purchase fraudulent science, easily bought lawmakers, and self-interested government agency employees. Amen. They have engaged in unethical and illegal activities to mis mislead the American public with deceptive marketing and fear-mongered fake news designed to foment strife in the population. Worst of all, they have callously disregarded the health, the safety, and the lives of our children. In my professional opinion, the pharmaceutical industry in general and the vaccine, vaccine industry in particular has proven themselves an enemy to every parent and vaccine recipient in America today, in the world today. They have proven to be dangerously corrupt, plagued by fraud, and caring for nothing more than their multi-billion dollar bottom lines. The next time you feel alone against the endless hordes of paid pharma trolls that haunt your social media posts, or powerless against the coercive threats of pediatricians desiring to profit from their cultish violation by injection, of your child's body with a human DNA and residual cellular proteins derived from innocent children that were horrifically torn apart at the moment of their birth so their cells could spend the next 60 years endlessly replicating as hosts for rubella and varicella viruses in what may actually be a secret sinister satanic ritual to defile and destroy God's perfect creation. Find your courage, rekindle your hope, and have faith that you are called at this time for this great purpose. Why? So others may live.